again it's a joy for us to start a new series on moment of fire i'm dealing with one of the powerful powerful series which has to do with pentecost a lot of churches a lot of people have moved away from this subject of pentecost in this series i'll be dealing with the subject of pentecost pentecost is an event and we need to understand what was that event for. And I'm telling people, and I'm telling you right now, that Pentecost was a system created by God through which believers should survive. I want you to join with me in this sermon on Pentecost, and your life will be transformed. God bless you, and shalom. Anyone who come to disturb the spirit of God to operate in your life, you must declare them enemies. Because now Zerubbabel is being told by God to say, look, it is not by mighty. Mightiness can also include intellectuality, experience, and knowledge. And power may also include anything that you may depend on, including weapons. But God says, not even weapons can help you. Not even good tools can help you to rebuild this temple. But if you're going to do it right, you must get the word. It is not by mighty. It is not by power. 
it is by the spirit of the Lord. So when now you understand the spirit of the Lord, you're going to go and speak to the, who are oh, you great mountain? Who are you before Zerubbabel? For you shall be made plain before him. Why? Because this man does not operate in mighty. He doesn't operate in power. He operates in the spirit of God. So if there is anything you cried for from today, you need to say, Lord, soak me. Soak me, Lord. Hide me under the Holy Ghost. Pour the oil all over me. Let me be a changed person. Let me understand how to walk in the power of the Holy Ghost so that if anyone is going to send a rat to my house, when the rat enter my bedroom, must catch fire and die because the place the rat has entered is a place where somebody has been soaked in oil. Somebody shot glory. I am challenged by the story and the testimony of Daniel Olukoya. I enjoy to read his books because that man believed in nothing but prayer. He leads people in prayer. And it is recorded that this man was in the mountain before. He started his own church for 40 days in prayer. And while he was praying, he got tired. And when he got tired, he laid on a stone. And when he was lying on the stone, a mamba, a snake, you need to know, whenever you seek the face of God, there is always a snake looking for you. Whenever you want your breakthrough, there is always a snake that will disturb what you are doing. That's why it is dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, to pursue a business without the help of the Holy Ghost. I say it is dangerous, child of God, to pursue a promotion without the Spirit of God. I don't know what I'm talking to right now. I say it is dangerous to compete with other people for a position at work without the Spirit of God. If there is any time you pray for the Holy Ghost, the time is now. And while I was laying there, a mamba came and walked across his belly. And while I was lying, he felt something cold moving. And when he opened the eyes, he saw a snake. And the snake lifted up the neck and looked at him. I can imagine it was you in prayer. You say, Lord, in your, in your hands, I, I commit my life. And you're going to start to sing a song. Coming home, coming home. Coming home, coming home. But the man looked at that mamba and he shouted, fire. You need to read one of those books. He shouted, fire. And the mamba that was on top of him caught fire and dried immediately. And from there, they named their church Mountain of Fire and Miracle Ministries. That's where the name come from. The snake dried. Immediately, fire came from heaven. It is the oil. I need you to understand, child of God. Refuse to lead an ordinary life. You can never be troubled by your colleague who carries his staff in the pocket. But a person is busy oppressing you at work and the oppression is working. Where is your God? What are you going to do to change the situation? You know what is the problem? You have become too comfortable and you are not fighting enough. Until you tell yourself, enough is enough is enough. You touch me, you die. You touch me, you die. I am not going to negotiate with the devil. You need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's why God came to Zerubbabel and he said, listen Zerubbabel, it is not by mighty it is not by power. It is by the spirit of the living. You, you need to walk in the power that is going to change things in your life. They, you, you don't know what I'm talking about. If this power was absent in my life, I wouldn't be here today. Are you hearing me? And the people are afraid to walk in power because they are afraid to be accused of witchcraft. You must walk in power until people think what we now in your car. I hear what I'm saying. Until they say, well, now we are Takata, we are Ganga. Otherwise, if they don't accuse you, you have no power. It is called power. You don't quarrel with the devil if you are not a friend of God. 
You did not hear me. You don't quarrel with Satan if you are not a friend of God. If you are not a friend of God, don't pick a quarrel with Satan. That's why in your working place, let me tell you something. The reason why in the month of Pentecost, we're going to rise in power is because even where you are working right now, there are people who come with things in their pockets. And those things are meant for you. And if you are not careful, they'll destroy your life. But today we are saying, Lord, let the anointing of God, let the Holy Ghost open every way for me. I'm hungry for you, God. I need your spirit right now. I need your anointing right now. I have tried everything in my power and I've failed. But Lord, from today, I need the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout fire. Every place you are at is war. Every place you are at is what? Is war. Praise the Lord. My name is Bishop Alex. I've got good news for you. Here at Holy Ghost Firehouse in the city of Neon Spread, we'll be hosting one of the greatly anointed men in the area of healing. And we'll be having a meeting called Christ Healing Campaign conference only for three days 28 29 and 30 of july and our guest speaker is apostle crispy mahovo from bulawayo zimbabwe is a man god is using mightily in healing terminal diseases or what doctors call incurable diseases is a man anointed for creative healing i don't want you to miss this meeting. In the kingdom of God, sickness is not tolerated. Hunger is not tolerated. Jesus was walking in this world. He was not carrying a red cross box. Pain killers come from life. He healed them by his word. He was simply saying, be healed. So his word, because his life, people saw the light. His church is characterized with creative miracles. People stream to the church every day. And in every service, you will see the power of God, both inside the building and outside the building. In 2018, 2018, four years, man of God, for four almost years. four years, she couldn't walk without the help of those clutches. But Jesus has done it in the house, man of God. Jesus has done it. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on. I'm encouraging everybody not to miss this meeting because you know what? If you can't see, you can't hear, you've been bewitched, you are crippled, you are paralyzed. You are damp, you have got a child with a terminal disease or yourself, you have a terminal illness. You have tried everything and nothing has happened. This meeting is specially for you. And it's going to be so powerful. I want you to be in this meeting to experience the power of the living God. That lady is suffering from severe backache for the past two months and painful right leg, man of God. Jesus. Be healed today. Healed! 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 I let you know that. Who are you, Mama? Hunty! Hunty, Mama! Who are you, who are you, Mama? Stroke, and since 2013, when she had that stroke, man of God, Which side? She, on the left side, she cannot effectively use her left hand because of that stroke. And since that stroke, she developed epilepsy, and she also developed partial deafness. Her right ear cannot hear, man of God. She is here believing for a miracle also. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! A miracle has just happened. Let us celebrate this. God. Apostle Crispin Mahovo has traveled to different nations taking this gospel of healing. Sub Sahara region, overseas, he has gone up to Chinese areas, he has gone to.
countries that even many other people have never been. And you could see in the meetings right overseas away from home, miracles happening, people getting healed and people testifying. Now spread South Africa, it is your time. Come and join a man who carries healing power, anointed by Jesus to heal people. Listen to this. On Friday 28, 6 p.m., Saturday is going to be 11 a.m. the whole day. It will be a serious meeting where God will be moving and healing people. On Sunday, we conclude the healing campaign at 8 a.m. in the morning. Come and join us. Invite everybody. If you can get somebody discharged from hospital just for that day to come and receive healing, if I were you, I will do so because it will be another move you have never experienced. God bless you and your host, Bishop Alex and Reverend Monica. But I come to let you know, when the anointing and the Spirit of God is on you, in this month of Pentecost, I want you to hear me. In this month of Pentecost, I'm speaking to you. The same words God spoke to Zerubbabel, it is not by might, it is not by power, it is by the Spirit of the Lord. I know they availed your things, I know they availed your promotion, I know they availed your job, I know they held your marriage, I know they held your finances, but I come in the power of the Holy Ghost. And I come to let somebody know the time is now when they shall let go. The time is now when they shall let go. They'll let go your business. They'll let go your job. They'll let go your marriage. They'll let go your health. They'll let go your children. They'll let go whatever that belong to you. In the name of the Lord, shout, Lord, show me your power. But today I pray in Jesus' name that something is going to happen so pentecost is not just a name but pentecost is an experience where the power of god come upon you and it comes to change things in your life i see people before this month is over everyone who has been throwing coins in your yard their hands are about to dry am i talking to somebody everybody is aiming to see you dead they are wasting their time the same god that fought for me he shall fight for you he'll fight for your job he'll fight for your business he'll fight for your promotion you fight for your marriage you fight for your children shout Lord fight for me when we talk about the, the Pentecost we are talking about experiencing the fullness of the Spirit of God oh Jesus we are talking about experiencing the fullness of the Spirit of the Lord and where the Holy Ghost is there is no mountain great enough to stand before the Spirit of God. That's why God said to Zerubbabel, this mountain, what is this mountain before Zerubbabel? I want you to dare to look at your mountain. Some of your mountain is your colleague. Some of your mountain is your own mother. Some of your mountain is somebody, your brother and your sister, who don't want to see you crossing over to the other side. But in this month of Pentecost, the Holy Ghost is about to fight for you. The Holy Ghost is about to make a way for you. It's a Pentecost moment. There shall be restoration. Those whose businesses died, they are about to be restored resuscitated again. Your position shall be surrendered to you without you asking for it. There are people that shall receive cause and say come and take your things. For too long I've been binding you. For too long I've been oppressing you. Say I'm tired. I want to give you things. Shout Lord. Release my miracles. Shout Lord. Release my miracles. The reason why we need the spirit of God. It's because the spirit of God cannot be limited to anything. People that attack you, they don't attack you using a knife. A person who comes with a gun and a knife is not as dangerous as a person who attacks you spiritually. Because a spiritual person will wait for you to sleep. I dealt with one man in Tula Mahashen then who came from another country. And this guy, all he had, he had umut to give people sexual dreams. Are you understanding? And in their sexual dreams, they will dream their husbands, they will dream their boyfriends, they will dream some people close to them. But it was him having sex with them in dreams. He says, Me na na. And he was doing that. He was a dangerous man. Then you'll be having a sexual dream. 
can deceive. He, he does not propose. He said, me now, I'm going to share in the physical. I know where to get you. I'll even get your husband put him this way. That guy was so notorious that some people be sleeping together and the husband will find himself on the floor. Some of you find you are facing this way, you are facing this way. Oh, could you see in the moon? Of less space. I have no pause But when you carry fire, makabo shamando kaba, riba do sheke tereba, he will feel like he has gone back and gone in. Because the kind of fire that will hit him, he will never understand. Am I talking to somebody? So it's important for you to always be fired up. If you sit like that and you don't change your prayer life, you don't want Pentecost, you're in trouble. What you need is the Holy Spirit. I say what you need is the Holy Spirit. You need to forget about what people say. Take this as a personal matter and say, I need the Spirit of God to help me. Because the Bible is clear. It is not by might. It is not by power. It is by what? The Spirit of the Lord. If tomorrow God want me to get to the ends of the world, I pack my bags, I go to another nation. Because going to other nations and preaching the gospel, it is what Pentecost is all about. Oh, praise the Lord, glory to God. Pentecost is something very powerful. I know where you are, you are vibrating, you feel the Holy Spirit all over you. And I can tell you, without the Holy Spirit, there is nothing a church can do. Without this thing called Pentecost, nothing can happen. You are there and you are saying, Bishop, I have heard you clearly. But listen to me, don't jump to Pentecost, begin on Calvary. You need to surrender your life to Jesus. If you don't know Christ, call the number appearing on the screen. I'm going to help you to lead you to Christ. And please don't forget that we are as a ministry, we have got other platforms that you need to subscribe to for free. One of them is our YouTube channel where there are thousands of sermons that are going to help you to grow spiritually. You can go to Holy Ghost Fire TV. It is our YouTube channel. Please don't forget to ring a bell and subscription is free. Every time we have a new series, they're going to be an alert sign on your phone. You can also join us on Facebook. Uh, Holy Ghost Firehouse Headquarters. Here in Nail Spread, you can follow us on those channels. And also, I've got my own personal Facebook page, Bishop Alex Go, where I do morning glory every morning from 5 until 6.30. Do join us. And alternatively, come to number two of Samora Show in the city of Nail Spread and come and experience the power of the living God. I invite you, come and join our services and your life will never be the same. Dr. Alex is my name and Shalom. To all our viewers at home, thank you for tuning in. If you'd like a copy of the sermon or you'd like to fellowship with us, please visit us at 12 Samora Machal Street in the city of Mbombela every Saturday at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 8 a.m. For access to a vast library of content, visit our YouTube page, Holy Ghost Fire TV, and subscribe for free to keep abreast of the latest material from our ministry. Looking forward to seeing you again, same time next week.